Copyright Society of Nigeria, COSON, takes a step towards digital direction. The Copyright Society of Nigeria, COSON, has taken a huge step towards the sensitization of Nigerian entertainment industry by kicking off a two-day digital music summit which focuses on establishing the basic rules of engagement in the digital environment. The event which took place at Eco Convention Center, Victoria Island, Lagos, had notable faces in the entertainment industry like Mr. Tony Okoroji, Efe Omorogbe, Oru Mentain, Mr. Roar, legendary Ebenezer Obey, to mention a few. Stay tuned while we bring you the major highlights of the event. How come he had the right to give to you what he did own, right? We have had this conversation, say, the person of the course of people like you, you have said, if you want to put my own at the very, what's your own with this whole music, whatever thing, your copyright? People have said, this artist or this label, they don't really, I mean, they're not asking us to pay them to use the music. So why are you asking them? And I'm like, listen to that person might have five, six album catalog. He might just give it up for free. I presented a guy called Professor Salvador Eiffel, for example. He has probably made more albums than six to ten of the contemporary record labels collectively. A better outcome where we would have legal music services. Consumers. I put the emphasis on legal. At the same time, we would have fair return to rights holders. Would that kind of very general outcome, very general goal, be an outcome that you could think of buying into? But what we have to do is have another discussion, you know, marketing and what they can do. And I think marketing is really on a case by case basis. Um, I, I, I do think there, 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 are, there are limited opportunities when it comes to saying what I have on the marketing budget because they still grow the audience uh, in regards to these global negotiations. It's the future. I mean, everything is digitalized these days, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a world that has been made smaller by the web, by the World Wide Web. So I feel that um, um, this is a necessity, this is an inevitable development into the future, yeah. So that's my take on it. Um. It's a very timely summit and it will create a platform where everyone that is involved in the value chain, in that chain of production, whether you are an artist, whether you are a composer, whether you are a label or a publisher of music, or even you are a DSP, that's digital service provider, you are a telco or an aggregator, everyone will receive their fair share of whatever income that is generated through this exploitation. So that at the end of the day, will have an industry that will continue to attract the kind of investment that will help take the music industry from where it is to the next level. I've assembled for the summit from whom and from other parts of the world because we think that this is very, very important. If you go back and look at the music industry before now, people used to get their music from, what, from, uh, uh, from cassettes, from CDs, from uh, vinyl. That is no longer the situation. Everybody is getting his music now from uh, the internet by Bluetoothing, you know, or through the the telcos, the telecommunication companies, and the rules are not quite clear. Everybody is just doing what they wish. Like Sandra without buckle. Now when they work hard from nine to five, thank God I put more money and I get hard to drive. I'm a one man, 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 I'm a one man